Hi, my name is Deacon Jim, and this is St. Bernadette in South Los Angeles. Today is Saturday, March 16th. It's the Saturday of the fifth week of Lent. And let us begin, as we always begin, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we begin our celebration, let us praise our merciful God. Lord Jesus, you came to seek out those who were lost. Lord, have mercy. You came to give your life for the sake of all. Christ, have mercy. You came to gather into one family your scattered children. Lord, have mercy, and let us pray. O oh God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And let us come together as we break open the scripture. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me. At that time, you, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet, I, like a trusting lamb, led to the slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him down from the land of the living, so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let us witness the vengeance you take upon them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm today is, O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me lest I become like the lion's prey, to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just and because of the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but sustain the just, O searcher of heart and soul. soul. O oh, just God, O oh, Lord my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God, who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, a God who punishes day by day. O oh, Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, word of God, Lord. Jesus Christ. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some in the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, this is truly the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But still others said, the Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and Pharisees, who asked them, Why did you not bring him? The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? 
have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him. But the crowd, which does not know the law, is accursed. Nicodemus, one of their members who had come to him earlier, said to them, Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, You're not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. That last reading, um, the Gospel reading, has a familiar ring to it. And the famous quote, can anything good come from Galilee? Galilee is like the sticks. Galilee was the, uh, you know, the bad part of town. Nothing good could come from Galilee. And it's kind of a, not only a condemnation, but it's kind of a sneer uh, in that remark. Can anything good come from Galilee? Couldn't, couldn't. But um, as I mentioned uh, earlier, today's gospel ends on what is kind of an interesting and a, a recurring theme. Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee, which I just mentioned. Um, it's good to have a long history, as we do in the Psalms, of witnessing to how God saves the upright of heart and rescues us in times of trouble, times of calamity. So scriptures give us hope during those times that we have in our own lives of what trials and temptation, difficulties. Even Jeremiah knowing the religious leaders of his day quite well, that they plotted to kill him, trusted in God's long-term plan. You see these, as they, just as they plotted to kill the other prophets, they plot to kill Jesus. And yet, there are problems when we presume that God will always act in well-established ways. You know, we don't always get what we want. The religious leaders of Jesus' day couldn't see this new thing that God was doing through Jesus because it didn't hold up to what they wanted it to be. They didn't see, they only knew established patterns. They didn't know this new, they weren't accustomed to this new way of doing things. How dare, how dare a provincial Galilean preach more effectively than, well, hmm, a city-trained Pharisee. I've got that, it's like a degree from Harvard and Yale. That, that's not what makes you important. You know, the fact that you got through Harvard or Yale, yes, but does that make you smarter than everybody else? And of course, the religious leaders, here's this guy from Podunk City showing up from the bad side of town, outdoing them in his preaching. How dare a human claim God is his father? Using the familiar word, Abba, it's like calling, in our translation of that, would be like calling Jesus dad, or calling God daddy. Yeah, if we, instead of did our prayers where we refer to God, if we said daddy, like he was our papa. But he is, he is, and of course he was Jesus. How dare Jesus gather a following through healing and, oh my, caring for people. You know, and not only that, carrying people from the wrong side of town, the least, the lost, not the powerful, not the proud. This is an invitation for us, my brothers and sisters, to consider how God might be working in our lives these days. Who are we ministering to? Who are we helping? What does our ministries look like? When might we need to be challenged? because we are so used to God working in certain well-established ways. How do we need to be challenged? How do we need to see God working in new and different ways in our own lives? Amen. We pray today that God create in us a clean heart 
O oh God, as we offer our prayers and petitions to you, let that be our primary prayer. May our religious and civic leaders cultivate a passionate commitment to justice so all voices are heard. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the dignity and truth of every human life shine forth in all who prepare to receive the Easter sacraments. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the victims of human trafficking and all whose dignity as human persons are violated by injustice, may the hearts of those who oppress others be turned to compassion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the young who are our future and for our increase in confident knowledge that in our efforts the kingdom of God touches the earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, may they know eternal rest and the joy prepared for them by their Creator. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers we hold in the silence of our own hearts. For these prayers and those entered into our prayer and petition book, that they may be received and answered by our God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God. Lead us from death to life as we conform our lives more closely to yours so that we may bear witness to your presence in the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us come together and pray the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, and deliver us from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And I leave you today on this Saturday in Lent with this prayer. Have mercy, Lord, on your church as she brings you her supplications, and be attentive to those who incline their hearts before you. Do not allow, we pray, those you have redeemed by the death of your only begotten Son to be harmed by their sins or weighed down by their trials. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Happy Saturday. Hopefully we see you in church this evening for vigil or tomorrow for Sunday Mass. Have a very blessed day, and may you continue to have a blessed Lent. Amen.